Welcome guys and girls, this is my Armour Granite 4x4 3S BLX ESC Tuning Guide. Uh, in an earlier video I showed you how to set the throttle endpoints and the brake endpoints as well as the neutral point. So tonight we're going to be looking at the ESC Tuning as this particular ESC, just like the one on the uh, Sentin 4x4 BLX and the Big Rock 4x4 BLX has five tuning variables in order these are number one low voltage cutoff threshold number two punch setting which you can vary uh, from one to five number three is brake strength which by default is set at 62.5 but i think oh no that's the next one which is 75 percent running mode number four is forwards brake reverse but that can also be set just to be forwards or brake with no reverse maybe if you're racing and number five is motor rotation which is typically set to normal but you can reverse the motor rotation a word of warning here guys those five variables i've listed for the 4x4 blx cars vary amongst the armor range so if you've got say like uh, an armor sentence 6s an armor typhon 6s an armor nero success they can vary slightly within there so you will need to read the instruction manual but the ones i'm covering tonight are specifically for the 4x4 3s blx series of cars and the other thing is when i set the throttle endpoints turn the transmitter on make sure you have it very firmly turned off when you are doing the esc tuning otherwise there will be tears involving anything to the left or right of the car on the workshop first of all i'm going to talk you through how to set one of the variables then i'm going to show you in practice just so you're perfectly clear on what you're doing first of all you're going to hold down the set button on the side of the uh, on off switch when you turn it on the red led will flash on you're not going to release your finger off it like you did with setting the, the throttle endpoints you're going to hold it down until it flashes green it will flash in sequence one flash two flashes three flashes four flashes five flashes when you've reached the prerequisite number of flashes that you want to get to your particular variable so say for my first one it's punch setting so after it's flashed green twice i'm going to remove my hand from the set button then i'm going to press the set button once to move it from its default of position three to punch setting number four and if I want to move it to number five, I press it again, etc, etc. So I don't need to punch that set button four times to reach punch level number four. I only need to push it once because the punch level by default is number three. Hope that makes sense. Full demonstration. First, I'm going to walk you through setting the punch setting, which is variable number two. Then, when I've turned everything off, I'm going to turn it back on and talk you through setting the brake strength which I'm going to increase from 62.5% to 65% but it's the same principle for all five of those variables I've talked through so I'm going to be setting variable number two which is punch setting I'm going to move that from level three to level four punch setting okay so transmitter turned off remember guys hold this down turn it on what beeps once release now see there beeping three times wait for it two three okay so i want to move it on from that so press it once listen one two three four okay so that is now on punch saying number four you just moves up by one every time you press this it increases the increment by one on there guys Hope that makes sense. So turn that off, he says, and that is now set on punch setting number four. Simple as that. Hope I'm not overcomplicating this because it is relatively simple to do. Next, I'm gonna set variable number three, which is brake strength, and I'm gonna increase it from number four to number five, which is increasing it from 62.5% to 75%, because the it needs a little bit more braking because it goes quite fast. Okay, so I'm gonna be holding it down until that green light flashes three times so hold down the button the set button there ignore it beeping red it's going to start beeping green one one two one two three release okay listen to number of beeps it's that one two three four just double checking press that once when it does that long shrill beep 
had me fooled a number of years ago till somebody pointed out to me that is actually five beeps very very quickly together so when you hear that noise that's on, on that is actually number five on the variable setting that you want so job done simply turn the receiver off and that's my braking shifted from level four to level five hope that all made sense do rewind the video um, any comments or questions you've got on it then do far away anyway I do hope that was helpful guys I do feel it's highly relevant one of those kind of things you may, may never read the instruction manual uh, but now the thing is going to accelerate faster and it's going to brake harder which to my mind ain't no bad thing at all and girls I hope you like that guide on ESC tuning for the Armour Granite 4x4 uh, 3S BLX and I've put the battery on charge because fancy going out for a play in the morning if you don't want to miss that video then don't forget to subscribe we hope you like this video if you did please click on the circle image to subscribe and if you hit subscribe then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to